<laughs> so today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Uh, with everything going on with the coronavirus, a lot of folks are getting more and more interested in raising their own food. Makes a lot of sense. There's been some disruption in some of the food supply chains and some of that kind of thing, so folks are trying to figure out how to be a little bit more self-sustainable. But today we want to talk about how you can be more self-sustainable and also <laughs> and also help pay for what you're doing. So we're going to talk about four different enterprises that you can do on your property that will produce food and can also produce an income. So stay with us and let's talk about those things. So the first enterprise that we want to talk about is egg chickens and fresh eggs. So chickens are really pretty easy animals to take care of. Um, we've been keeping chicken now for about three years and egg chickens were really one of the first things that we started with too. Um, the thing about egg chickens is whenever you buy your new day old baby chicks, it's going to take you about 16 to 17 minutes before those chickens actually start laying eggs. But once they do, they're pretty prolific. There are a lot of breeds out there now, red sex links, um, Isa Brown, and some of those hybrid chickens that will lay 300, 330 eggs per year. So they can really provide a good egg supply year round. Now, you know, you start thinking about, well, maybe if I get six chickens, those chickens lay a, lay an egg a day or about an egg a day. Um, over the course of a week, they're going to have you know, close to four dozen eggs, which is a lot of eggs. <clears throat> so for a typical family of four, four dozen eggs is going to be plenty, plus it's going to leave you a couple dozen to sell. Eggs are super easy to sell. Sell to your neighbors, your friends, your co-workers. Um, the folks that I work with absolutely love it whenever I bring fresh eggs in. Um, so during the winter, we've got a lot of extra eggs. We don't have a whole lot of a whole lot of egg sales during the winter. Uh, but during the winter, we do have a lot of extra eggs, and I take those to work, and, and folks love them. Your neighbors. A lot of your neighbors, if you've got chickens, uh, they they be tickled to death to get fresh eggs. And also, eggs are a real good... Um, Real good peace offering if you've got a chicken that might have got over onto somebody's porch and you know left a little special surprise or something from there. But again, egg chickens, great enterprise, easy to get into, barrier to entry is super low. The downfall is it's gonna take about 16 to 20 weeks before you start getting uh, before you start getting those eggs. Another benefit to chickens, they're great for kids. A lot of good lessons to be learned. So another really popular enterprise to get into that you can raise your own food and also sell some excess and make a little money for your farm or your homestead is meat chickens. Meat chickens are kind of like, I've heard them described as the radishes of the meat world. Um, these are Freedom Ranger chickens. Um, we get these chickens as uh, day old baby chicks, raise them in the brooder for about three to four weeks and then they come out into one of these, one of these Siskovich style chicken tractors. From there we practice daily moves, they receive a, a feed ration plenty of water, and every day they get fresh grass, bugs, worms, grubs, and that kind of thing to eat on. The nice thing about meat chickens is, again, the barrier to entry is really, really low. All you need is just a simple tractor, and you can build these for about, eh, parts, materials, the whole deal. I think it's about $275, um, and you can store, you can keep 30 birds in here. So 30 birds, um, that gives you 15 to eat. Uh, 15 to sell or if you want to do a couple batches per year you know you could do as many as 60 to keep for yourself and 60 to sell everybody eats chicken chicken is a real popular item um, this chicken is much different than what you're going to get in the grocery store you'll find for your own table that it's got a much better flavor a different texture cooks up better and it's just a, a much better product overall from there you're not going to have any trouble selling it um, there are a lot of folks out there that are looking for fresh chicken. They're looking for food that's been raised locally, been raised ethically. And chicken is a great starter. It's really, really easy for, buy, for people to buy a pack of breasts or a pack of leg thigh quarters uh, and fix those at home and get used to eating uh, some homegrown chicken. Uh, my wife describes it as the first time she ate one of these chickens, she was five years old again. That it just took her back to whenever she was young and her grandparents would raise chickens and they would fix chickens at home. So meat chickens, really easy enterprise to get into. Turn your money over in about eight weeks, plus you got plenty of food for your own table. So the third enterprise I want to talk about is gardening. And while we do a lot of livestock here, and that's, that's primarily what we do on our farm, uh, we do uh, some gardening. And what we found is that um, you can grow a lot of food in a, in a really, really small space. Uh, this is just a, a four foot by 10 foot bed. 
and I don't know how many lettuce plants are in here, but there's a ton of lettuce in here, and there's more, certainly more lettuce than we would ever eat. In addition to this bed, uh, there's also one, two, three, four, five. There's at least five other beds of lettuce. Different varieties, different kinds, different types, and that sort of thing. And again, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Each one of these is, you know, it's four foot wide, 10 foot long. So last year, um, we decided that we were gonna sell some of our excess vegetables. And we really ended up only doing lettuce. Um, but we would take lettuce and uh, the night before market, uh, we would pick it. Now, keep in mind, we ate all the lettuce we wanted. So the night before market, we would pick lettuce and then we would just put it in a, put it in a Ziploc bag. And we uh, got a little set of kitchen scales and we were weighing it out and we were doing half a pound of lettuce um, per bag. And we were selling a half pound of lettuce for five bucks. Last year, only three, I think only three of these beds, we might've been using four. Yeah, I think we were using four beds. Might've been three, heck anyway. Um, we raised and sold over 50 pounds of lettuce. That translated into over $500 in just in lettuce sales from what we grew last year. And again, this is all in just in these, in these small beds. Now, if you got into raising a few tomato plants, you know, maybe 15, 20 tomato plants, you're gonna have all the tomatoes you would want. Plus, people love fresh tomatoes. Carrots, squash, zucchini. Um, you know, we've got uh, we okra. Lord of mercy, last year we had more okra than we could shake a stick at. We never sold any, um, but okra is extremely prolific and does really well. So that's another great plant uh, that you can raise. You get plenty of food, plus you can sell it and make a little bit of money on it too and pay for your enterprise. You can help pay for your plants, your seed, your compost, the materials to build your beds out of, and then you end up basically eating for free. So that's another, you know, gardening is another great enterprise that you can, uh, that you can get into where you can raise your own food, have plenty to eat, and still have plenty to sell, and make a little money along the way. Hey, Piglet. Hey, Piglet, how you doing? Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, you're a man. And so finally, if you're feeling uh, if you're feeling extra froggy and feel like taking on a real challenge, um, pigs. Pigs are a great homestead animal um, for you and your family to raise out to put food on your table. Um, on average, we raise our pigs out to be about seven months old. Uh, when they go to processing, they're somewhere around the 350 uh, 350 pound range, which ends up being a whole lot of meat. Now, pigs do better if you have more than one. Um, a lot of folks recommend, if you're gonna get a pig, just go ahead and get three. So, you know, of course we raise on a little bit bigger scale, but if you're interested in raising your own food and then having some extra to sell to help pay for your, uh, to pay for your enterprise, pigs are outstanding. Pigs are gonna take a little bit longer. Again, pigs are gonna take you about uh, five to seven months to get them ready to go to processing. Um, there's going to be more feed cost involved, a uh, little bit more infrastructure uh, than, the other, um, than the other enterprises that we've talked about so far. And I'll post a link up above on exactly what it costs to get started with pastured pigs. But with pigs, what a lot of folks recommend, and we certainly would recommend this as well, is that you buy one, or you, you get three, you keep one for yourself, and then you sell the other two. You'd be surprised at how many folks, especially now with the whole coronavirus thing going on, are looking again, just like the chicken we talked about earlier, are looking for locally grown, ethically raised meat. Pastured pigs are a phenomenal animal to get into. Um, again, pigs are easy keepers. They're not difficult to keep once you get them trained on electric. And we've done a video on how to train your pigs on electric, how to set up your pig paddocks. And I'll post links to those either up above or down in the description below. But again, pigs are just awesome animals. Um, one for yourself, two to sell, and uh, They'll pay for themselves and, uh, uh, and make you a little money to go in your pocket too. Old timers used to call them mortgage lifters uh, and there was a reason for that. So that's four ideas on things that you can do um, to raise food for yourself, uh, have some extra uh, to sell and help pay for your homestead, your farm, uh, or, the, or the enterprises that you're, that you're venturing into. I'm sure you can think of others, 
Um, this is a good one. Um, if you enjoy bees, we've been keeping bees about 10 years and uh, honey sales are through the roof for local honey. So, um, but you know, egg chickens, meat chickens, uh, gardens, um, pigs if you're feeling extremely industrious and would like to get into that. All of these things are, are, super, bar are super low barriers to entry. A um, little bit of infrastructure, a little bit of time, um, and then again, there's a ton of videos out there on YouTube. We do a lot of stuff. A lot of other folks do videos talking about how to how to raise these animals and how to uh, how to do these things. But one of the big messages that I want to send to you is that you can do this. Uh, three short years ago, we were living on an acre and a half um, that was nothing but just residential yard. Uh, we didn't really have a garden. We did keep a few bees, um, but we didn't have chickens. We didn't have pigs. We didn't have sheep. We didn't have cows. We didn't have any of that stuff. And now, three short years later, um, we've got a whole lot of whole lot of different stuff going on. So, it can be done, um, and a, there's a ton of resources out there uh, out there to get to get the information that you need to be able to do this. So, when it comes to farming and homesteading, you're certainly not going to get rich. It's not a high income adventure to undertake, but it's a ton of fun. You get to eat a lot of really good food, and you get to help a lot of folks out. Uh, you know, just last month we went back and looked. We help feed over 430 families, and that is the most satisfying feeling in the world to know that you're going to be part of uh, somebody's dinner table and that folks are eating good food because of what you're doing. And again, we get to eat really good. So a um, lot, of, lot of rewards there that may not be financial, but, uh, but certainly do make a difference in, uh, and make a difference in your life. So I'm going to post a couple of videos over here uh, on the side. Also, we've got that uh, subscribe button that's going to show up in the middle of the page right now. Um, hit that subscribe button if you've not. Follow along with us. We're going to be doing more videos on, on the farm and chickens and eggs and sheep and bees and gardening and all kinds of stuff. So hang out with us and find out what all, uh, what all we got going on here and hopefully there's something that you can use. Appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.